Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Household debt can be dangerous when it's taken to excess, the Bank of England has warned, telling high street banks, credit card firms and car loan providers they risk fresh action against reckless lending. The bank's director for financial stability, Alex Brazier, said banks were getting into a spiral of complacency over mounting levels of consumer devil, uh, debt. And he said that could pose a danger to the entire economy. Our business editor, Siobhan Kennedy, has this report. Believe it or not, this Gateshead-based car website featuring Mrs Ling jigging on her motorbike is one of the biggest online drivers of car sales in Britain. From there to the vast, shiny showrooms of new vehicles, cheap finance is fueling a boom in consumer spending. But does buying cheap now come at a cost for the economy later? This is how it works. Customers turn up here and choose a car from one of the hundreds on offer. They then put down the deposit, typically, and then pay for the rest using a car loan, which can also be organised here in a matter of hours using a simple credit cheque. In total, consumers spent more than £30 billion last year buying cars using this special form of purchase credit. And it's that growing volume of potentially risky debt that has regulators increasingly worried. Last night, one of them from the Bank of England warned that debt, including car financing, posed a growing risk, echoing comments from his boss, Mark Carney, just weeks before, that banks were allowing lending standards to slip. Uh, we're concerned first about the resilience of the banks, and we think they're in a reasonable position, but we should shore a few things up. But then secondly, this overall risk of a high proportion of heavily indebted households that could make a downturn worse. Here's what he's worried about. Overall, consumer credit, which includes car financing and credit cards, has risen steadily, up by 10% in the past year. But pay hasn't kept pace, and with wage increases stagnating, that gap is getting wider. For the economy, the concern is twofold. We already knew that consumers were reining in their spending as inflation rises, creating a squeeze. But now this new worry that what spending consumers are doing, they're increasingly doing on credit. And that could be a problem if interest rates start to rise. There's evidence too, says the Bank of England, of a loosening in mortgage lending, which could spell trouble if the economy weakens. If interest rates rise, then there are some people who are teetering on the edge that we would really worry about. I think even people who are borrowing um, mortgages for the first time would probably need to worry about. I mean, there are two and a half million people who've never seen an interest rate rise on their mortgage. Those behind the huge wave of car financing, though, say there's nothing to fear. But should it be the case that I can go in, pick a car, tell them what size deposit I can put down and get a loan for the rest in, frankly, a matter of hours. Well, this is lending that is responsible lending. It's, uh, it doesn't sound very responsible. Well, uh, lending has to be responsible because the, the commercial reality is that a lender only has a future if what they lend comes back to them, and that means it has to be responsible. That's the theory, at least. The worry is that subprime lenders would have said the same thing back in 2007, and we know where that ended up. Siobhan Kennedy there. So we're back now to the political storm here in Washington.